Hey guys, Evan from Stock Music Musician, and it's here. Reason 10 has been released. I've been using the betas for the past few weeks, and so I have been using Reason 10 for a couple days now, the full version, and I'm here with my review of Reason 10. So, um, I've had some misgivings, as I've said before, um, about Reason 10, partly just because of the way that they have marketed it. I think if we look at Reason 10 as the first version of Reason to fully support VSTs and then all the other great stuff that was added, I think this is a no-brainer. This is easily the best version of Reason ever um, in terms of performance, in terms of features, um, and in terms of bugs and things like that. But I still have a lot of reservations. So let's get into them. Um, first, VST support and performance. Reason 10 performs considerably better with VSTs as opposed to Reason 9.5. This is just sort of, I haven't done analytics or any like detailed mapping, but I would say anecdotally, my experience is that it's about 30 to 40% faster um, with complicated VSTs than Reason 9.5. And something that's kind of weird is that it definitely deals with like having lots of uncomplicated VSTs running simultaneously a thousand times better. Not a thousand times, but um, like if you want to put, for example, Waves has this um, basically these channel strip emulators that you can put on all of your channels. And that used to really bog, bog things down, even though I don't think it's that processor heavy. But with Reason 10, dropping those on all the channels does not even move the needle on performance. So they've definitely excelled at having multiple VSTs running simultaneously super significantly. They've uh, also improved on the big nameplate VSTs, but not, it's probably still not up to par with like DAWs that have been using VSTs from day one. So first of all, Reason 10 provides real VST support. Although there's still some really weird behaviors when you close things and when you click and um, so I still wouldn't say that VSTs have been perfected in Reason, but as opposed to sort of just like an, oh, you can kind of also maybe do this, which is what Reason 9.5 was, I think it's fair to say that Reason 10 really fully locks in and makes the VSTs um, on par with the rack extensions. So the main thing that Reason 10 adds is a whole bunch of new features in the way of instruments and samples. Um, Europa is a really awesome, incredibly powerful modern synth uh, that it's not really my style, but I think most of the people that use Reason would find it to be their style. And um, I still will use it definitely. It almost uses no processor power and there's a lot of great sounds. Grain is going to be like the coolest thing ever. I already can't stop using it. I had to drag myself away from Grain to make this video. Um, yeah, Grain, Grain is amazing, absolutely incredible. Uh, Pangea, I haven't really got, that's sort of the world instruments, but I think it's probably gonna make the occasional appearance. Humana, the vocal synth is excellent, 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 excellent at choir type effects. And then Clang, the tune percussion is awesome. Uh, you, you can basically put that on almost any track in any genre, just mix a little in there and it'll add a, a little, amazing bridge between sort of percussion and melody. So those are all awesome. Radical Piano is fantastic. Um, I know a lot of us have had it before, a lot of us haven't, but it's a great, great piano with a wide variety of really realistic to really fake sounds. Um, and that's gonna be my go-to piano from now on. I have pianos uh, through Waves, uh, or I mean through Native Instruments, through Complete, that also sound really good, but this is just super easy. You dial it in, it's a rack extension, um, and it's way better than the NNXT defaults. Uh, Synchronous is there. Um, I've had Synchronous for a while. Uh, some people really like it. It's not for me, but I think it's a great, you know, it's a great tool and it's a great easy way to do um, CV automation, to draw in a bunch of curves and then have that mo modulate other things. Um, now, before we go any farther, I made a video about how you can save like 20 bucks on your Reason 10 upgrade and probably like 40 or 45 bucks on Reason 10 if you're buying it for the first time. There's a link down below. Click on that. That'll show you how you can save 
a lot of money on all of your music purchases, but how you can save 20 bucks right now if you want to download Reason 10. So go check that out. Uh, but let's keep this review rolling. So what's, oh, and then also they added a customizable favorites menu. So undoubtedly, this is the best, biggest version of Reason. So like, how can, uh, you know, how can you go wrong there? The price I think is right. Um, the other thing we need to keep in mind is that historically there has been a couple of minor updates that we'll get down the road and I like a 10.1, a 10.2, they'll add some cool little things. And then it probably in a 10.5, they've always added something pretty significant. So I think that if you're on reason nine already, there's probably good cause to upgrade to reason 10, especially if you're a reason nine user who uses lots of VSTs because of the performance boost in VSTs. And my guess is they're not gonna roll that back into Reason 9.5, but maybe they will. I don't think they will though. Um, I think that's how they get you. They tease you just like, you know, uh, your local drug dealer. The first sample's free and then you're hooked. So um, if you're a Reason 9.5 user that uses VSTs, I think it's a no brainer. Um, I think for a lot of Reason 9.5 users, it's still probably a good decision. If you're below Reason 9, I think 129 bucks for everything that Reason 9 added and all the stuff in Reason 10 is absolutely worth the cost of admission. It's a great value. Um, and it's, I think it's great that Propeller Heads on one level allows you to go from the earliest version of Reason to the most recent and catch up. Um, but there have been like serious, not serious, but like a dozen or more small issues that are scattered throughout Reason in the UI, in the interface, well, I guess the UI is an interface, in performance, um, in sort of just instrument design that have been there forever. I've made a couple of videos about them. Um, I will probably renew those criticisms just for Reason 10 in a separate video down the line because these things do add up over time and like they would not be that hard to fix. So it seems like every time you create a new piece of software, you should try to both make that software function better and you know add new features. And it just doesn't seem like there's been work done on that. So that definitely takes like a, a point off, I would say. Instead of being able to give this a 10, I think it's probably you know a nine out of 10 um, because these little things, they do add up. You know, the ability, the inability to export to MIDI uh, the absence of curves drawing in the uh, sequencer window, this way the sequencer window and the mixer don't really link up, sync up, and the way the browsers in both don't link up. Um, just some of the very few, just a few of the many, many little things that over the course of using a piece of software for hundreds or thousands of hours do actually genuinely make it less usable. So in conclusion, what I would say is that Reason 10 is the best version of Reason, but I think now that they've gone to a VST rack extension world, um, there's definitely more pressure on them to make Reason into a platform that is the best platform for creating music as opposed to making the best instruments for creating music, which is also great. I mean, I'm totally into these instruments, but now it also, you know, I didn't want to get off on this tangent, but here I am. So that like, we don't really have a modern regular old sampler. The NNXT is like bonkersly bad when you compare it to the usability of grain. Uh, if grain had like a twin sampler that like allowed you to arrange where in the sample you're going and do just regular sampler functions with that user interface. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about when saying that Reason has so many bits that are like now 2004, 2005, and then you've got these 2017 technologies which are really cutting edge and they show the way like how Reason should be. Um, and it's just sort of these sort of jarring almost to go from some of the older instruments now to some of these new instruments. And hopefully somewhere along the way, we'll see a UI cleanup and a feature enhancement to all of the old instruments, just like we saw with the RV 7000. 
Okay, so what do you think about Reason 10? Have you got it? Um, I know we've been having some debates in some of the other videos. I think um, I'm really happy with it. I would recommend it without any reservation, especially for people looking to get into music production. I think for musicians first, it's still a great piece of software, but it's at missing a lot of sort of professional level features that make larger tracks, tracks with more songs with more tracks in them, easy to manage. And there's a lot of little legacy like issues running around in it. But from a purely creative performance standpoint, uh, well, not from a live performance standpoint, actually, it's not great for live performance. It's okay. It gets better. But um, yeah, I think I would still absolutely recommend it to any friend that wanted to get started in making music production without reservation. Hands down, best version of, version of Reason. So if you held off on buying 9, upgrading to 9, I think it's time to jump into 10. Um, if you agree, leave a comment. If you disagree, I'm sure you're also gonna leave a comment, probably tell me how much you hate me and how stupid I am. Uh, Cause that's, <laughs> no, uh, most of you guys are awesome. And then also if you wanna figure out how to save like 20 bucks on your upgrade, click on that link down below. There's another video that tells you exactly how to do that, to how to save money on Reason upgrades and all other sorts of musical gear. Cool, have a great one.